On the twelfth day of Fresnus, my fan base gave to me. Deep breath. Twelve time reversals, eleven henshin poses, ten froggy coins, nine tanks of missiles, eight lucky dice rolls, seven shotgun shells, six battle chips, five quests in space. Four pairs of peepers, three gorgy pups, two circus shows, and a magical puzzle jamboree. Hello, sweethearts and lovelies, and welcome to Fresmus Lucky 13, the final day, the final Fresno Inferno stream of 2023. My god, what a year it's been. I've been doing this uh, semi-regularly in 2023 on a whim. And I will continue to do that in 2024. But before that, we need to get through this. The end of Christmas. As requested by pal of the show, Sean. Death Christ 2000. We are going to be playing this computer video game. This computer video game. This computer video game. It's braid. And if you'll excuse me, I'm just going to move the window slightly so that I can see you y'all while we're talking. This is braid. Use the left stick to move. This is showing up, right? Let's just make sure that's showing up on my thing. Yes, it is. Press start if I want the menu. I thought I thought it almost sounded like the uh, Nintendo Switch. Uh, finger snap. So this is Braid. We're in a house. Oh, there's World 2. Uh, I might already have save data on this thing. I'm not sure. But, uh, I did hit the button to erase all the shit. Let's hit B. The time travel mechanics in this game are pretty tricky, so let me give you some advice. First, it's just a jump to the left. I don't know why it says World 2. Unless it's some timey-wimey nonsense. But you know what? Fuck it. Let's play World 2. Tim is off on a search to rescue the princess. She has been snatched by a horrible and evil monster. This happened because Tim made a mistake. Not just one. He made many mistakes during the time they spent together all those years ago. Memories of their relationship become muddled. Her place all sail, one remains clear. The princess turning sharply away. Her braid lashing at him with contempt. You know, she tried to be forgiven, but who can just shrug away a guilty lie and stab in the back? Such a mistake.
Oh, did I need to, uh... Leap of faith. I need to do these in a funky order, don't I? Oops. Well, let's use our back-in-time potion! Let's use some of that back-in-time juice. I have an idea of what to do. Look at that. I am a genius. <laughs> now I have myself a piece of the puzzle. It's time for a leap of faith. Hmm. Oh god. Very finicky to time, you know. There we go. I see. There we are. Soldier boy. Ow. That back in time. Whoop. Jesus! Stop your bouncing. Is there anything in these caves? This feels like the kind of thing where a secret will come out. see this version of it. Oh look, a flag and a cat. Oh, it's a cute little dinosaur. I'm sorry, but the princess is in another castle. Ah! Ah! I, I understood that reference quite well, in fact. So let's go to World 3. All those years ago, Tim had left the princess behind. He had kissed her on the neck, picked up his travel bag, and walked out the door. He regrets this to a degree. Now he's journeying to find her again to show he knows how sad it was, but also to tell her how it was good. For a long time, he thought he'd been cultivating a perfect relationship. He had been fiercely protective, reversing all his mistakes so they would not touch her. Likewise, keeping a tight rein on her own mistakes, she always pleased him. But to fully couch within the comfort of a friend is a mode of existence with severe implications. To please you perfectly, she must understand you perfectly. Thus, you cannot defy her expectations or escape her reach. Her benevolence has subscribed you, and your life achievements will not reach beyond the map she has drawn. Time Tim needed to be non-manipulable. He needed the hope of transcendence. He needed sometimes to be immune to the princess's caring touch. Off in the distance, Tim Tala Castle, where the flags flutter even when the wind has expired and the bread in the kitchen is always warm. A little bit of magic. The pit. Well, how the hell is this gonna work? Oh! It counts when you still hold the key! I see, that's how that's gonna work. There and back again. Mmm, that back in time potion. It's tasty. Phase. I'm not sure what we're doing there. Anything with a green glow is immune to go back in time potion. Oh, wait a minute. 
Hmm. Oh. So all I gotta do is wait until I was standing on a... Hmm. Wait a minute. Oh, it's only... Oh, it's only some of them that are immune to go back in time potion. Okay. You probably just manipulate the platform so it's perfectly. Yeah, like that. Beautiful. The ground beneath her feet. immune to a uh, time potion shenanigans. I see. So now I'm needing a key of some kind. I see. I think. No, I don't I don't think I see it. Actually. Let's I hang out here for 5 seconds. Then go down. There we go. That got it. Tight channel. Fuck. Not sure I understand how to get that piece. Oh god. All these creepy little bunnies are after me. It's freaking terrifying. Oh god. Oh my god! Ah, oh. oh, they're not green, so I can't really do much about it. Irreversible. Yeah, you got a lot of height off of this. Uh, killer bunnies.
I'm not sure how I'm getting that. Fuck that. I ain't figuring out all this shit tonight. You know what, actually? Give me two seconds. I'm, it's warm here, so I'm going to take off my sweater and get a drink of water and turn off the heat. So I'll be back in two seconds. Busting out the artistic nudity. No. <laughs> anyway. What's the deal with this thing? Oh. I see. King's Quest 6. <laughs> God. There we are. I think I'm one key. Wait, no, never, never mind. Just uh... What? Well, that doesn't make any sense. Because that last key was uh, used twice. Oh, I think I was supposed to do them, like, backwards? Maybe. Whatever. Why are these bunnies so... What? Oh, fuck. Layer. Uh oh. Well, I got the key. Oh, there's a there's a big scary monster here. Bonk. Oh yeah, I gotta reverse them. Okay. There we go. Now come over here. Bonked pretty good, my guy. Oh, yeah. Any time. 
time you're ready. And that's bonked! You have been successfully bonked. A tingling. Mm. Sorry, I've got a bottle of a cream soda there. Just uh, drinking up. Switch do. <laughs> I see. Hang on. Oh, I gotta go over there. Okay. I got it, I got it, I got it now, hang on. Oh, look at me! I've jumped in midair where the platform is going to be! How terrible! How terrible that would be if I were to hit this switch and land where the platform will be! Actually, I want it to come back, don't I? Yeah. I'll get it to come back and I should time it right. Or not. Hmm. Okay, hit the button. Hmm. No, hang on. Hmm. Hit the button. Go to the thing. Damn, that's not fast enough. What? Hmm. Ah, forget it. I do need the thing over here, though, so. shooting, huh? Anyway. Oh, here's the T-Rex again. Ah, oh, that was very strange. Princess who? She must be in another castle. Hmm. I traversed World 3! Hooray! There's World 4, but what's this? Is it World 5? Yeah. <laughs> Think about that. Visiting his parents' home for a holiday meal, Tim felt as though he regressed to those long ago years when he lived under a roof oppressed by their insistence on a holding strange values which came were meaningless. Back then, bickering to the left over drops of gravy spilt onto the tablecloth. Yeah, you shouldn't be spilling gravy on the tablecloth. You should be eating your poutine, Tim! 
Escaping, Tim walked in the cool air towards the university. He attended from looking at his parents' home as he distanced himself from the troubling house. He felt the embarrassment of childhood failure in the past when he suffered from all the insecurities he felt at the university. All the panic of walking a social tightrope. Mm. Ah, that's a good drink. Tim only felt relieved after the whole visit was over. Sitting back home in the present, steeped in contrast, he saw he improved so much from his old days. This improvement day by day takes him ever closer to the friendly princess. If she exists, she must. She will transform him and everyone. He felt on his trip that every place struck an emotion. Mm. And every emotion evokes a memory, a time and a location. So couldn't he find the princess now, tonight, just by wandering from place to place and noticing how he feels? A trail of feelings, of awe and inspiration just leading to that castle. In the future, her arms enclosing him, resent fills him with excitement, creates a moment so strong he remembered in the past. Immediately, Tim walked out of his door the next morning towards whatever the new day held. Something like optimism. The pit again. What? What the hell? Okay, hang on. Okay, so that's a little trippy. Jumpman! Oh god, uh, I see what you're doing here! One way to get past. Why did it break? Just out of reach. Watching this game is making my brain hurt. Playing this game is making my brain hurt. What? Now you know what the hell with that. I'm not here to solve all these amazing puzzles. Oh, oh okay. Oh, God. Oh, I gotta do it backwards, don't I?
the hell do I? Ah, oh, fuck this. Movement by degrees. I didn't even see that there. Oh, come on, how finicky are you? Got the key. Wait, he got the key. Oh God, <laughs> the hell with it. I'm not inclined to solve these puzzle piece horse shit things. They're starting to get real annoying. Hey, where'd my key go? What? What the hell? What? Hang on. Go back. Go back. Mario Maker Braid. Oh, God. What? Hey! Oh wait, no, no. We want this, don't we? Or do we? Oh, it's a key that doesn't like going right. Is that it? Oh, you just gotta cock block me at the worst possible times, don't you, little guy? Huh? Damn. Well, that's the end of that world. Hello there. I'm sorry, but the prince. Hey, where are you going? Well, that's that world complete. Well, there's world six. Hmm. God damn. She never understood the impulses that drove him, never quite felt the intensity that over time chiseled lines into his face. She was never quite close enough to him, but he held her there, so she were. Whispered into her ears, words that only a soulmate she received. Over the remnants of dinner, they both knew the time had come. He would have said they had to go find the princess, but he didn't need to. Giving a final kiss, hoisting a travel bag to his shoulder, he walked out the door. Through all the nights that followed, she still loved him as though he'd stayed to comfort her and protect her. Princess be damned.
Oh, it's another pit level. Now what is that? Wait a minute. What the hell? Why does my sad sack shadow only show up at certain times? You're a time traveler and a snazzy outfit. Does, make, does that make us all your companions? Hey, I got the thing! It's my shadow, the true self. I art thou and the art me. Yay. And we're a happy family. understand what makes the shadow move and what doesn't that apparently See, you know, I'm kind of understanding these puzzles. There's no title to this one. It's just by the key. Time travel makes the shadow move. It's my past self. Let's see. Starting action. Damn it. Come here. Well, am I just soft locked now? Self trigger the bunny. I 
I still don't know how the hell to get to that key. Crossing the gap. Only my past self can interact with this? What? And I don't see anything else for me to interact with, per se. Unless I was to bonk this guy. Okay, that makes a new fella. Was my past self. I lure the guy all the way over here. Okay. I forget. Oh, wait. Hang on. I might be able to get this thing, though. That could be something. No?
the thingy. Oh, too late. He runs out of time, huh? Hmm. Oh well. But my, my other self wouldn't be able to press the button, is the thing. And again, the hell with it. I know I'm not solving these, but it's like... Oh, God. Sells you, boy. Sells you, boy. That is correct. I think I, I got the I got the hang of this. I drop it on the head, guys. I drop it just after he has gone under it, such that my past self would have dropped it. For instance, now, or I could just kill him like that. I guess that works too. I should rewind to the start of Friends so I can experience it all over again, if only. Hello, Mr. Dinosaur. Hi, I'm lost. How are you? This is the third iteration of Christmas 13. Oh, God. Hesitance. Oh, fuck. I'm out of cream soda. One second!
I got the thirst in me. Well, I, now that I've finished my cream soda, I've got some Dr. Pepper. Perhaps in a perfect world, the ring would be a symbol of happiness. A sign of ceaseless devotion. Even if he will never find the princess, he will always be trying. He still will wear the ring. If the ring makes its presence known, it shines out to others like a beacon of warning. It makes people slow to approach. Suspicion, distrust, and interactions are torpedoed before Tim can open his mouth. In time, he learns to deal with others carefully. He matches their hesitant pace, tracing a soft path through their defenses, but this exhausts him. And it only works to a limited degree. It doesn't get him what he needs. Tim begins to hide the ring in his pocket, but he can hardly bear it. Too long tucked away, that part of him might suffocate. The pit? Question mark? Why? What the hell? Time slow? Kind of doctor's Dr. Pepper. There and back again. I get this if I just time slow the entire fucking room. A pediatrician. <laughs> Time compression is a hell of a thing. Suppose I slow the clouds. Little closer. Maybe I put it here. Delay the spawning of the clouds? Ah. No, that's not doing it. Put it on the other end. Delay the uh, cloud coming in. No, that's not doing anything. Unless... No, nah, that'll just fall with it, won't it? Yeah. Then again, that might be the answer. I don't know.
Nee, fuck. Cascade. I don't even want to fuck with that. Impassable foliage. See, like, the first one or two puzzles are, like, fine, and then it's just like, Oh, you gotta do a whole bunch of arcing shit. What? I'm not telling. And all that for a pit puzzle I don't know how to pass. <laughs> Atomic bombs! So I've gathered. Atomic bombs have something to do with this. I'm not sure what. Elevator action. Oh, God. It's a strange game. Yeah. only a model. <laughs> nah, fuck it. Braid Twin Queets crossover AU. Go. I'm for it. I'm for it. over here, huh? Okay. Hello, Mr. Dinosaur. It took you so long to get here. I can tell you the princess must be in another castle. I've never met her. Are you sure she exists? Uh-oh. You made a new channel in your Discord for later. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> no, not that. Not, not, what you, not what you said, but oh, no. I appear to have run out of game. And I think now I have to be collecting all the puzzle pieces. Oh no, you didn't miss it. And there are some new people there. Oh, I don't have my, uh... World 1 is locked behind all the pieces. Ah, that's why it starts with 2. I thought it was something strange like that. Oh, 
Oh, wait. I know this fucking puzzle. This is the thing, right? Where you had to wait something like three real in-game hours for that fucking cloud up top to move all the way over. That's it, isn't it? 100% the game and you will see them doing the thing you have become the thing. Have you considered that you are the thing? Starting on World 2 and the one is profound because it is. The secret ending is tied to stars. What? What stars? Well, at least I solved this puzzle piece, maybe. There we go. <laughs> Next, the creator will make a game to size and instill the Tetris effect in you and mock you for seeing the entire world as puzzles to be solved. Have you considered your John Carpenter's a thing in Christmas Classic because it has snow? The three hour puzzle gets you a star. Whatever the star is. Hmm. Well, I ain't doing all that shit. At most, I get to play for like, what, 15 more minutes? And then, oh, for fuck's sakes. Nemesis sequel to do the QA pass. And I'm glad I'm not the only one who thought that. <laughs> I mean, stars. Okay. So I want to find edge pieces. That's what I want to find. Let's start trying to build this freaking puzzle. Hmm? Okay, let's see here. Let's say we put that in the corner. No? Okay, wait. This definitely goes here, yeah? What's the side of a bottle? Hmm. And then you go there. I see. Well, you two go together. That's something. Ah, okay. There's the bottle. All right. somewhere with this thing. Ah, okay. You've snapped into place. I suppose you... Hmm. That's snapped... Okay. We got something here. Aha! We made most of a puzzle. <clears throat> We've almost solved the puzzle. Okay, well we can't solve that like that. <laughs> Mirroring my actions. 
Braid mirror alert! Boop, 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 boop. Oh, wait, there's a. Oh! Oh! Holy shit! Solving the fucking puzzle here made a platform there! That's still not enough to make it over here. Well, we did it. We solved World 2. Too damn high. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. That feels like real progress. And you know what? <laughs> it's a little short, but I think we should end Fresmus on the high note of having solved a puzzle in this strange, mysterious game that in some ways spoke to me during those uh, cryptic narration segments. 
but it's a very interesting uh, gang representative of something or other. Some people say it's the atom bomb. Some people say it's a uh, grief and loss. Uh, it's, there's lots of ways to interpret it, and I don't have the full picture, the full puzzle, if you will. <laughs> but that's it. The thirteenth Fresmus is in the bag. He solved one puzzle in braid. I couldn't be more proud. <laughs> ah. See you in the court of the Goblin King. Yes, yes. That's where we'll next meet in 2024. Ah! <laughs> but for the rest of you, is this loss? Uh, no. I don't think so. Uh, either way, though. Christmas has concluded. I'd like to thank you all very much for coming to these things over the past 12 days. What a fun time it was. We did a whole lot of stuff, a whole lot of things, and I just, I had a great time. I always have a great time with y'all. And I'm very happy that you show up to this thing with the bit rate of a potato. You come here to hang out with me and uh, say funny things and poke at my, uh, Risque remarks that I make accidentally off the cuff. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Happy holiday to you all. Please enjoy whatever time the uh, week off you get. And I hope it's well. And we will be back on this stream in 2024. Who knows what I'll play. Maybe I'll do something long form, you know? Maybe I'll play an RPG on this thing over 10 weeks or some nonsense. Merry Christmas and the Happy Raven Bake Year. I can't think of a better way to end it than that. So, if you are watching a highlight, thank you very much for that. And I hope you enjoy whatever it is you watch next.